All right, so I wasn't actually going to do a video of um, like an unboxing of um, my Magister Militum order. It, it came in and it's most likely my last one. Uh, but the reason why I did is because this thing, I've never had something like this happen before. Um, and I was like, oh my God, it's a sign. Like it's also my last order. I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just show you guys what uh, if you've never ordered from Magister Militum, like what normally you would get. So this is like a, yeah, the glare. hold on here. Um, yeah, so there you go. Typical telling you the code and all that stuff. And often you'll, um, at least I've uh, received these um, acrylic little base things. I don't use them, but it's nice that uh, they're, you know, they give them out. It's this guy. I've never had a, hopefully he'll pop up or I'll put them beside too. So these are the C people's uh, command, foot command that I picked up. For example, you can see here. But look at the color. I've never had that happen before. If you think I'm painting that, you're out of your flipping mind. I can tell you that much. I'm not touching that bloody thing at all. Like I may just remove a little bit of the flashing there, but that's it. There's no effing way I'm touching that. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. So uh, I was like, whoa, cool. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Might as well just keep on trucking, showing a little bit of the stuff. Um, so these guys are gonna go with, um, I'll give you an example. So hopefully that'll come out nicely. I don't know, so. These are also from Chariot, um, painted these ages ago. I love these. Uh, they're probably one of my favorite painted um, um, armies that I have is the uh, Phoenicians. Uh, sorry, yeah, the Philistine army. So um, I'll put these off to the side for a bit. So I also picked up um, some, well, I'll show you the unpainted. I absolutely love their uh, Egyptian range. I just find them such an easy paint job to do. Um, so I was like, you know what, this is probably my last chance of getting these guys. These are uh, Egyptian, what are they, New Kingdom or Middle Kingdom? Uh, New Kingdom uh, archers. And I use them here. I'll show you the, like one of the before and afters, I guess. And I just, they're so easy to paint up for me. It's just ridiculous. So uh, um, it's an absolute joy. If somebody said, by the way, Chris, uh, we're going to, I'll hire you, um, you know, to, to paint up tons and tons and tons of these Egyptian style armies. Oh, no problem. Loved, oh yeah, it, absolute joy, absolute joy. And I can just whistle like my version. I can just uh, fly through those like there's no tomorrow. These guys um, I are Numidian, so they're not in a classical uh, period, like uh, not my, oh, what are you doing in there? I got a freebie. Nope, he's just from over there, okay. Um, so these guys, I don't have any of these done. Um, but I just, it's like, I, I just want to use them per, uh, perhaps for um, yeah, some make-believe army or, or a conscript uh, um, infantry. Who cares? I just love, I just love the pose. Um, that's that. Um, oh, these guys are some more beautiful Egyptian dudes. Uh, these are Old Kingdom. Who cares? They all go into the Kushites for me. So they're, uh, yep, another absolute joy to paint. I'll show you the before and after. So there you go. Absolute flipping joy to paint. And yet again, I'll, I mean, there's not much to them, obviously. So uh, I just love them. Look at that. And that's, uh, I think that's straight up terracotta I'm using there. Um, on um, That's one thing I do with everybody in biblical. I don't care where you're from. You, you're out in the sun, you're gonna get a tan. That's the way it goes. Um, what else did I get? These guys are, I use these for uh, the Urartu um, heavy infantry or veteran infantry, if you want to call them that. They're Babylonian whatevers, but in my world, um, they're not. Um, and I'll show you the before and after. So there you go. For me, anyways. Yeah, I love these guys to bits. I wanted to because I know that they copied a lot of the styles of the Assyrians later on and so on and so forth. So I wanted to, I wanted them a little bit different than the um, the Assyrians that I uh, use of uh, the actual figures. So these are all um, Magister Militum, which are, I guess is the old chariot range or whatever, but uh, sounds like potentially it's no more. And then um, who are you? Oh, I already showed you, you you guys. I thought I had some more, didn't they? they? I think they gave me the wrong dudes. No, I did show you that. No, I think I'm missing. They gave me the wrong... I shouldn't have double up. Oh my, I'm going to have to contact them. Because I should have got um, these guys. 
So they doubled me up. Excellent. I'm going to get more figures from them. They should have got me some of these dudes, which I don't think I uh, received. Nope. Hold on. No, those are those guys. There's my archers. Those are these, those guys. Oh, oh darn it. Okay, I'm screwed. Uh, forget it. I'll just shut up. <laughs> oh, darn it. I was getting all excited. I thought they would have to send me some more, uh, more like, uh, stuff. And they have done that before. Like, oops, so we made a, not a mistake. Actually, I think it got lost in the post. And they were super, super duper nice about it. So, there you go. Uh, and then I also, some more fantasy guys I'd like to use at some point. And I'll show you a couple of other things I want to get. Uh, or do. Um, so these guys would be the same style of that other, I think they're also, no, these are Carthaginian. So yet again, classical, um, whatever, um, like a little bit later than um, uh, my period that I focus on. So I, but I love that look, boy, if I got some more <laughs> I see to do later. And then I picked up some of these decals. Um, I didn't realize they had so many different ones, but I was like, okay, I can use these for my planes. And this is because I want to do this. So hopefully you can see this. Yeah, I saw this uh, snow globe thing in the jig uh, the dollar store, and I was like, you know what? Let's have some fun. So uh, I picked up one to six thousand scale zeppelins. This giant one is the L fifty nine. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, come on. But uh, that's uh, supposedly L fifty nine, the one that went almost to uh, help out uh, Leto Vorbeck. And this guy is uh, SL3. Um, I don't know what SL SL3 did. Most likely, I would say, stuck near the Belgian coast and maybe, maybe uh, did something across the English Channel. I'll find out. But I wanted to use that and put something like a little micro... Uh, paper craft type thing of like London or something and then have one of the well not obviously uh, L59 oh my god but it wouldn't it be neat to have pyramids there or something that would be kind of neat so it wouldn't be a snow globe it would be a sand well there you go man sand globe right there so uh, yeah maybe that's a good idea okay give that a shot cool all right that's it um hope you're having a great time I just I just blows me away where's that soup where's that amazing little guy uh where are you there you are yeah, it's all because of you, you. All right, that's it. See ya.